Every season, I like to share what I see in tabletop trends. So it's every spring, summer, winter, and fall, I share what I'm seeing online and out in the stores that's new and um, trending when it comes to tabletop, table settings, tablescapes. What are these stores doing? What are we seeing online? But today, I want you to come with me. I'm gonna take you with me as I go visit some stores and let's discover together what is new with those dishes and that glassware and those table linens? What colors are we seeing? What styles are we seeing out there? Because every season the stores have something different. I'm Nicole with The Door on the Table. Come with me and let's discover these spring trends together. We're at Target and let's go inside and first walk through the dollar section. There's almost always something related to tabletop but they always have something on trend when it comes to tabletop table settings here at Target. Then we're gonna walk around the rest of the store, see what they have for their dishes, their glassware, and table linens. The very first thing I saw when I walked in were these throws. They call them throws, but these would be super cute as tablecloths on your spring table. I love this dusted pink color, along with that light green. Next, I found these adorable embossed glasses and you can't tell but they're actually a light blue color there's also a set of green ones as well <laughs> and I came across these adorable votives I love that dusty pink and then we've got an olive green there's also a white but did you check out that basket weave pattern on them super cute just below that were these raised trays and check out that bead detail uh, in between. I know you've seen this before, but we're definitely seeing it out in the stores a lot more now. Still in that dollar section at Target were these planters and I love the colors. We've got the chambray blue. Notice on the bottom, it does have a plug as a planter, but you could always put a glass in here and then do use it as a vase, or you could even put candles in it. They also have a terracotta orange, which is really popular right now. Moving into the plastic section at Target, I found these hammered clear water glasses. I love that detail on them. And below, we've got the on-trend colors of the light green and the dusty pink plates. In another section, they have the chambray blue melamine plates, along with embossed plastic glasses. I love these. These are so cute, and they match the ones that are the glass ones that are in the dollar spot. They also have the melanin plates in pink, and they would be so cute on a spring table. Oh my gosh, I totally fell in love with these hearth and hand little bud vases. Aren't these adorable? I mean, look how cute. And the ridge detail that they have on each one, and then the three different sizes, these will be adorable on any kind of table. Then, right below that, I found these fake plants Oh, they look so realistic. I know you will not be able to know the difference. And then that planter, again, with the ridge rings around it, very on trend. They also had two other types of fake plants, which I think it'd be really hard to tell if these are fake or real. Next, I found these brushed gold pieces and the tray automatically drew my attention. It has some shine to it, but I absolutely love the brushed gold look of it. It would be so cute using as a centerpiece on a table. They also had matching vases, and the cylindrical shape of these is just so simple yet elegant. It would not be spring without a floral tablecloth, and the pattern that Target has is so cute. And check out those colors. Those are the colors of spring this season. They also had tablecloths with stripes, and these are not that farmhouse style stripe. 
These have a definite different look and feel to them. Let's check out World Market. I love World Market for seeing what the latest trends are with tabletop. They always have new colors and styles and it's always, always like hits the mark perfectly. So let's go see what they have for dishes, for glassware, for table linens. Come on, let's go inside. Oh my gosh, check out these pillar candle holders. I love them. This glass is so chunky and thick. And the two different sizes? Wait, look inside. I bet they could be a vase as well. These are adorable. I also found these really cute amber colored um, glasses as well. Could also be a vase, I guess. Oh, wait, check out. Did you see that that one is being used as a vase? But check out this olive green um, like a retro vase. I love that swirl detail. And then the short pompous grass fronds. I mean, you always see them as big and tall ones you can use in your home decor, but I, these little ones that you can put in vases for your tabletop, oh my gosh, they would be so cute. World Market had these pink, dusty pink foxtails. I love these. These would be adorable with that pompous grass we just saw. Check it out. They have matching taper candle holders. Oh my gosh. These will be so cute with the pillar ones. And let's check and see if they also are open in the middle so they could be used as a vase. I bet they are. Yep, this could also be a vase too. These are awesome. Next, I sound these hobnail glasses and they have a little bit of a green to them, but I love the heft, the chunk, and that hobnail look is kind of very retro. These cute little small ones as well. And then to complete the set, they even have a water pitcher. This set is just great for spring. Now, coupe glasses have been in style for a while, but check out the ridge detail on these. They are just so delicate and pretty. And then right behind those were these amber goblets. Again, ridge detail, I'm seeing a trend. There are also these glasses, and look at that swirl detail. This is that retro feel, but then it's also incorporating all of the colors of spring. Super cute. And the tan is something we see every spring, and I just love the airiness of these. They are so well made too, and check out that straw color. I love these light colors that I'm seeing for spring. And then these napkin rings, oh my gosh, they are just so simple and adorable, and they definitely have that retro vibe as well. In the same section, I found these placemats. I'm seeing retro again, but check out the blue colors, that chambray blue. Love this look for spring. More napkins and using the springtime colors and some stripes too. Oh, we've seen these glasses before, but look, they're now in the spring colors. Pottery Barn, that's where we're headed to right now. They always have great tablescape setups. They always have wonderful ideas and their dishes and their glassware and their table linens. Love them. So let's go see what they've got for their spring tabletop trends right now. First thing I came across were these ceramic vases. I just love that chunkiness and that organic feel of them. And of course at Pottery Barn, they have tons of napkins and this chambray blue is gorgeous. They in fact have like almost a whole rainbow of colors, but check out, we've got some more of the chambray blue, we've got greens, we've got a mustard orange and the retro feel of the design on these definitely has a, like a 70s vibe to me 
love the napkins here that have like that amber and the chambray colors combined. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love eyelet. And these are definite springtime and delicate napkins. So cute. Dusty pink. This is a color I'm seeing on trend right now in the spring. Light woods I have found um, at some of the other stores as well as Pottery Barn here. Pottery Barn also has that hammered chunky glass in their um, glassware and this one is just to die for. You should go in and feel that it. it's awesome. And they have this little tea goblet and they call it a tea goblet. It is perfect for water, tea, or even wine. You could use this for so many things. They have these chambray blue and white plates that I have fallen in love with. I just love the softness of them. They're so cute for spring. And then in a different section, they have these terracotta napkins. And I just, this color for spring is refreshing and unusual. I love these napkins. They're so cute. Check out how they have paired them together in this little setting. Oh, I can't believe that Pottery Barn has these rattan uh, placemats as well. Don't they make you think of the ones I found over at World Market? But these are more airy and kind of a similar vibe and feel to them too. Pottery Barn also has chunky light green glassware. Check out these chambray plates. These are so perfect for spring. I love, love this color. Oh my gosh, I fell in love with this tablecloth. It is embroidered. It uses all of the colors from spring with that dusty pink the terracotta orange, the olive green, the chambray blue. It is beyond beautiful. Love it. Check it out. Powdery Barn also has the brushed gold in these bowls. Great for centerpieces. They also had some matching vases and a candle holder that matched those plates I showed you earlier. And here's another one of their tablecloths. I adore their tablecloths. It's also embroidered. It's using the chambray blue and the olive green and the floral pattern on it. It is to die for. Love, love, love this tablecloth. And then the last thing I found were more ridged glassware. Pottery Barn's on trend with the other stores. Well, that was a really fun day of shopping and I'm so glad you were able to come with me and we could do it together. I love being able to go through and take my time at the stores and see what they have out for tabletop trends, especially doing it on the same day. So that way it's very consistent as to what we're looking at. And I don't know about you, but I saw these trends in each of the stores. I noticed that the colors they each have and the styles that they each have are very similar. In fact, we can probably cross the items from Target with the items from Pottery Barn or with World Market. So let's go through these together and see how they look together and what I got. Starting at Target, I brought home a set of the Dollar Spot glasses, that chambray planter, the raised tray, and the cute little fake plant. Then from World Market, I brought home a couple of the napkins, the placemat, the napkin ring, the pompous grass, the foxtails, and the vase and some glassware as well. Pottery Barn, I opted for a couple different napkins, a goblet, and I love the chambray blue plate. 
I'm going to create two different place settings and I'm going to use the straw rattan placemat for each of them. And then I'm going to put the chambray plate on top. For the first one, I'm going to use the amber and chambray napkin I got from Pottery Barn and the napkin ring from World Market. I'm then going to add the amber goblet I got from World Market along with the olive green vase, which I love, and I'm putting that pompous grass inside of it. I just love this airy look and feel that this place setting has. Place setting, I am doing the same thing, the, using the same placemat and the chambray plate, but instead I am going to be using the uh, geometric chambray pattern that I got from World Market with that same napkin ring. And then I'm going to add the glasses that I got from Target. See how blue they look now that they're out of the packaging? I'm going to accent it with a chambray planter from Target, and then I'm going to put that little fake plant inside of it. Of course, you could fill yours with a regular uh, real plant, or you could create your own flower arrangement. This next example you could use as a centerpiece or just a cute little vignette on a countertop. It started with the tray from Target, and then I decided to add the napkin, or one of the napkins that I got from World Market, laid that on the diagonal. Added that cute little fake potted plant from Target, and then I finished it off with the dollar spot glass from Target. And they're just cute and simple. My next one is starting with the dusty pink foxtails. Now, you could obviously take these out and put them in a vase, but match those with either the terracotta or dusty pink napkins from Pottery Barn, and then the hobnail thick glass that I got from World Market. Let's recap the spring trends that we saw when we were shopping. We noticed color-wise, definitely more muted light colors. So we've got that light dusty pink, the light blue chambray, a light terracotta, and even a light mustard, along with that olive green color. With the woods, we saw light color as well, that straw color in the placement and the napkin ring. We didn't see much in the way of medium or dark wood tones, and we definitely did not see black. Black is not a spring color that we are seeing this season. When it comes to metals, we did see some brushed gold, and that might have been about it. I might have seen some pewter, but I'm not seeing shiny metals. That glam shiny might be on the way out, and these more natural, neutral colors and style is, tends to be what we're seeing. We've got that geometric and some floral prints as well. Let me know, what did you think about the spring trends that we're seeing? Are you on board? Or are you like, nah, no, let's wait until summer and then I might be really on board with those. In any case, have a wonderful time with your friends and family. I'm Nicole with the door on the table. Until next time, bye.